We are so happy to have you here in person in this beautiful city. I hope you will have a good time and chance to see this beautiful city in Vancouver. Taylor from CNCF is joining me today on stage. So we will be walking you through the event keynotes today. As an announcement made, we made, like my name is Fatih Ermanjan and I work at the Linux Foundation as the executive director of the Continuous Data Foundation. Before we start this morning, you would like to thank our sponsors, our gold sponsors, Armory and Opsemex, and silver sponsors, Harmony, uh, Harness and Puppet. Without their support, we wouldn't be having this event, so thanks a lot for all your support. Again, uh, please visit them on Sponsor uh, Showcase Boot Hall and see what they are talking about there and the Solutions Showcase in the broad foyer. And we have a boot crawl tonight uh, after the sessions wrap up for the day from 5.40 to 7.30 p.m. A few housekeeping items. Uh, a quick reminder about our event code of conduct. All attendees should feel welcome and included in our events, and we take this very seriously. If you notice any issue, please directly reach out to our events team and ask for their guidance and recommendations. So we, we have the good event here this week. And I think we can start with some of the things we are you know, excited to talk about. And as you see, we have our sponsors called Armory of Semex, Silver Harness and Puppet, and Startup Autocloud, Cloud, Firefly, and Prodvana. How, how this event happened? Like, because some of the people might be wondering, like, okay, CDCon was happening you know, as a standalone event, GitOpsCon was collocated with KubeCon, and now we are collocating CDCon and GitOpsCon together as part of Source Summit North America. And this idea actually came a few months ago after we've been talking about like how we can increase our collaboration between our communities, like the project communities, as well as the Continuous Data Foundation and Cloud Native Computing Foundation, because Continuous Data and GitOps, they are common you know, practices regardless of the product structure, regardless of the target environment, regardless of the industry, Cloud Native versus you know, Monolith and so on. And we said maybe we should put these two events together so we can bring all the communities together, all the projects together, and find ways to move the domain forward together in a collaborative manner. So that's how we came up with the idea. And thanks to our friends at CNCF, we made it happen. And you are all here, which is really good, because like then we can have a lot of opportunity and chance to find out what is the challenges our users are facing, how we can bring our projects together and move things for, forward in a collaborative manner. And some of you might know Continuous Data Foundation, some of you might know Cloud Native Company Foundation. We want to give you some kind of historical information about both of these foundations so you know who these foundations are and what we are doing and what projects you can see and start contributing and using. So the Continuous Data Foundation is a pretty young foundation. Uh, it was established around 2019, almost four years ago, and it started with four projects. Our four founding projects are Jenkins, Jenkins X, Spinnaker, and Tecton. Today, we have nine projects, CD Vance, Jenkins, Jenkins X, Ortelius, Persia, Screwdriver, CD, Spinnaker, Shipwright, and Tecton. And our goal and mission with Continuous Data Foundation is to improve the world's capacity to deliver software with security and speed. As I noted, Continuous Data is common concern for any type of product, any type of environment, any type of industry and Continuous Data Foundation provides a neutral home for any project and anyone who wants to collaborate and contribute to Continuous Data ecosystem. Taylor? Absolutely, thank you, thank you. So welcome everybody, hope you had a wonderful walk in or drive in. Uh, the CNCF, so uh, really excited about this event and wanted to give some context for those that aren't aware of the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Uh, at the CNCF, we bring folks together. Uh, just got back from KubeCon in Amsterdam. Uh, definitely recommend checking out a lot of the videos on YouTube. Uh, I think I just got through all of my inbox backlog, so we're back at inbox zero, so that's very exciting. Uh, <laughs> we have 159 projects right now. Uh, this slide is really difficult to keep up to date because we continuously have more contributors, which is wonderful but also very difficult to keep the slide up to date. So we'll have to figure out some API integration at some point in time or a pipeline of our own. We have over 800 member organizations and thousands upon thousands of community members as well. 
So again, this slide is just very difficult to keep up to date, but wonderful to see that we're starting to hit a little bit of a plateau when it comes to countries as well and folks getting involved. It's truly a global community and wonderful to see all of the dialogues and communication happen on this front, whether it's edge networks, figuring out how to get in, uh, how to put cloud native into your organization, uh, adopt these things from a technical or cultural sense. We're just seeing so much discussion on that front, and it's great to have a vendor neutral place within the CNCF to be able to have those conversations, uh, to, to not get pitched or you know, to kind of experience that turbulence when you are just starting to form things or trying to figure out how to level up that organization. So uh, really excited to be here with you all. With that, I'll pass it back to you. Thanks, Taylor. So. As you know, this event is happening first time in this setup, CDCon and GitOpsCon together. And when we first started talking about this event, we said like, okay, let's see how many people will want to talk at this event and how we can bring all these different you know, projects and topics together. And we were pretty you know, happy to see them, the number of proposals we received. I think we had more than 250 proposals for today event, which is like really great number. And then finally, like we, our program committees, by the way, we had three program committees, one for CDCon, one for GitOpsCon, and one for Spinnaker Summit, and they put a lot of time and effort to find the best talks that gives us, you know, idea about what's happening within, you know, CD ecosystem, GitOps, GitOps ecosystem, and how organizations are applying these practices for their, you know, organizational performance. And then the program committees came up with over 80 pro sessions, and those sessions will be during these two days, and we have more than 100 speakers giving those sessions. So we would like to thank everyone who submitted and proposed talk for this event, and congratulations for everyone who got their talks accepted. So here's CDCon program committee. As you see, we had uh, nine uh, contributors to our CDCon program committee. The CDCon program committee was chaired by Lori Lurus of JPROC, and we had Batwana Paiden, Andrew Fong, Dadisi Sainika, Garima Bajpai, Brad McCoy, Carlos Tadeo Panato, Alicia Tong, and Adam Kaplan, they spent a lot of time and effort to put the program together. So I want to thank all of them for their efforts and time and everything. And the conversations that took place during these program committee meetings were awesome. Like, it was really great. So you could feel the passion of these people in these topics. Awesome. We'd also like to thank the GitOpsCon program committee as well. Lee, Todd, Christian, Nicholas, Mike, Priyanka, Hari, Samuel, Max, Dan, Annie, and Scott. Uh, just a myriad of folks that have this deep sense of how GitOps is working. Again, fabulous conversations happening on that front too. And it is not easy to go through any CFP uh, type of process whatsoever. Uh, KubeCon, GitOpsCon. Uh, so we really want to thank these folks for their time and their dedication. We also have some wonderful keynote speakers, some of which you'll see shortly and uh, quite excited on that front as well. Uh, never easy to find folks when it comes to keynotes, uh, but again, we're gonna have some fantastic talks today as well. So, see, Contributor Foundation and CNCF Cloud Native Computing Foundation, we have been collaborating on different topics, like they weren't so visible, but CDCon and GitOpsCon will hopefully make our collaboration more visible and more powerful. And one of the things we start working on is creating a new certification, certified GitOps associate in collaboration with uh, Cloud Native Company Foundation. And this was announced by Chris Anicek during KubeCon Europe in Amsterdam. So we are still working, finalizing the details of this and beta exam should be available soon. So please, like if you have interest in GitOps, this is the certification you may want to give try on. And in addition to that, we have a free course introduction to GitOps. So you can take this course today, start you know, refreshing your knowledge around GitOps to get ready for the exam whenever that becomes available. I think that was all. Yeah. With that, we'd love to invite y'all to have a wonderful conference. Uh, I'll be back on the stage here shortly, but we'd love to turn it over to Fatih to get things all kicked off. Thank you. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, everybody.